you everybody for coming today. Again, we do want to give a super special thank you for Jordan uh, being able to take time out of his day to highlight some of the things that Podio can really be elevated to do, especially when we're looking at a, as more of a building block system of how your CRM can really get you to that full scope of where you need it to go in the long run. So some of our previous webinars we had done had been a little bit more of like Podio basics of just getting started, kind of looking at it on a little bit more of the project side. So we wanted to make sure that we were highlighting the CRM capabilities here as well. So speaking with one of our colleagues, Bill, he made a really good point we wanted to highlight of a good way to think of your CRM is almost like a living, moving organism. It's a part of your company that's always being developed. It's always changing and growing as your team and company continues to change and grow. So we don't wanna look at it as something just static out of the box because that's not really letting you grow as a company. When you're looking at a CRM as that sort of organism, if you will, uh, it allows you to kind of understand that this will forever be changing as your business is changing. And that's one of the great things with Podio and that customizability. And with that, I'll go ahead and hop in. Great. So again, just super quick uh, little refresher for anyone who wasn't on the original Podio Basics 101 <laughs> webinar. Um, and we're right now we're looking at a workspace dashboard or a workspace homepage. So all of your workspaces do look fairly similar to this. Um, any of your workspaces can be located in this dropdown and these icons across the top are your apps. So this is a really template based system. Your apps are just your templates. For these, I actually went into our app market that's available within Podio and grabbed that sales CRM package, kind of lets you know what's available there to get started. We wanted to kind of hop into some of these samples and then walk through a few workflows before passing it off to Jordan to show the sort of elevated capabilities. So with this, I'll hop into this contacts app. Give that just a second to pull up. And when you're going into an app, you're able to see everything that's saved under that template in this sort of view. Currently, I have it in a table view. Uh, I grew up on Excel, so this is just how I prefer to work. But if you did want to look at that as a badge view, a card view, which is a little bit more of that Kanban style, an activity view, or even a calendar view, if you have date fields in here, you can change that on both a default setting or an individual setting. And I always like to point out the ability for filters. So if you have leads within a system or clients within a system and you want to be able to categorize them as a specific type of lead, maybe they're interested in a certain service or product, you can put those filters on as long as those fields are within your template to narrow that list down to just what you need to see. So with that, we can hop into one of our samples here. We have this as sort of a pared down template. What We can go into a little bit more of an advanced template in my next screen, but kind of just giving you guys some context. So here we can see I have that contact name. I can break down their name, phone number, email address, any sort of notes that we want to take from that first step of contact. Here you can see I have the ability for tasks. So I have a nice little follow-up that's assigned to myself. I can check that off to mark that that's been completed. And at the bottom where you see those related items, this is kind of what I wanted to touch on on more of the B2B side because you know CRM sales, it's different for every company. Sometimes you're working with direct customers, sometimes you're doing a little bit more of that B2B where you may have multiple contacts within the same company. So being able to leverage Podio as that relationship database, I can now have that sort of company record as well where I'd be able to see any contacts linked to that company and get sort of their overarching data structure, whether it be phone number, address, email, and then any history that we've done with them in the past as well. Clicking back into that contact brings me right back to that contact page where I'd be able to do anything along the lines of taking notes, reached out, where everyone would be able to see that, that state and time stamp, so I get that good visual. Um, again, if we needed to add any sort of additional fields here, you'd be able to modify that template and kind of walk through that sales cycle. So here we're looking at a little bit more of that contact reference. So if I hop back into that workspace as a whole, you can see that particular app pack had several different things that were coming through it. So we looked at that contacts in the companies. This is the one that everyone's interested in. We wanna make sure those deals are coming through and that we have those sales that are really flowing through the company in an organized manner. So I can go ahead and open this app up. Cool. And with this, we can go ahead and add a new deal. Great. And so here I'm able, you can see, I can name that deal. That little red asterisk just means that I've made that field required. So in order for this to be saved, something must be saved in that correct field. I can go ahead and you know, attach who the company is for. I can assign it to the specific salesperson, which is great for people being able to pull their own pipelines. Also great for reporting, which we can get into into the next screen. 
what sort of stage we're at. Again, you can see we even have things like a progress bar. So if you do like that visual indicator of how far along you are within a deal, you can have that either be manually changed or automatically changed based off of things like changing a stage. Um, being able to track expected close dates so we can get really good ideas for forecasting and for pipeline management and also things like deal size. So kind of just showing that on that higher level. Again, this is all from that Podio app market. So I wanted to get you an idea of what's already available to you. You'd be able to download this into your workspaces right now. I'm gonna flip into one of my demo spaces where I've done a little bit more on the back end here. So I'll hop into my leads app. And with this, we can go ahead and open up that first lead at the top and that comes up, Mr. Joe Schmo. Great. So here you can see I've fledged this template out a little bit more, just kind of showing you more capability, but I have that first last name breakdown. I have that salesperson or the rep responsible for this particular lead. Uh, this location field is a built-in integration with Google Maps. So especially if you or your team are doing anything where you have to go on site, uh, being able to have this in here is great. I can click that and it'll bring me directly into Google Maps with that address already plugged in. So I can send it to my phone or get driving directions. This is also really helpful when we're talking about the mobile app with Podio, because if you are in the field, you'd be able to just pull that up, click and know exactly where you need to go. I'm kind of managing what type of lead it may be. So this could be a first contact or someone who's coming back for repeat business. Type of client. So if I have any sort of designation for that, I'm able to kind of put those into specific buckets. Again, great for reporting. My statuses, notes. And then again, if I needed to add any sort of files. So we've touched on this on previous webinars as well. We do have built-in integrations with all of these tools listed here. Uh, the one with ShareFile, as we being a part of the same business unit, is a bit stronger, but you'd be able to link those directly so I can pull any specific folder or document related to a leader client and attach it directly to the system of record. And then similarly, as I'd mentioned, I can see any sort of those related items here. So everything's looking good with Joshmo. You know, I've had a lot of notes, we've had our phone calls, we've managed all of that. So we're ready to go forward and get them a quote for, for a business proposal. So whether it be a quote, a contract, any sort of documentation, this is where that Podio premium really starts to shine. So with our conditional workflows, I was able to let the system know if I'm going from preliminary to send proposal, it has to go through that flow. And it's a specific type of client, that's the next process that it needs to happen. So I can go ahead and go to that send uh, proposal. And what this is gonna do is automatically create an item in my proposals app. So then I can manage that proposal separate from this lead and it has its own organiza organizational structure. So I'll go ahead and open that one up. Oh, you can see I have that company that the lead is attached to is already pulled over, the lead is already linked. And now I'm working on a template that's a little bit more quote driven. So with this, I can do things like attach that salesperson. We can again, add any sort of closing date, assign consultant priority levels, and then I have some calculations built in here. So let's say I'm selling a service that's, you know, 130 meters, let's say it's $15 per meter, and my additional closing cost is maybe 500. So I'll go ahead and put that in. What this is allowing the system to do, it's gonna take those numbers. So in this case, I have the number of meters times the cost per meter plus the closing cost, and it gives me that final deal total. And I even have a calculation in here to generate out a commission. So this is again, great for forecasting, really allows people to know where they're projected to be. Great on the manager side of seeing where all of your salespeople are and be able to pull reporting accordingly. So here I have everything that's looking good. Uh, let's say we wanna do that monthly billing. I can go ahead and make a specific rep there. And right now we're in pending. So what I'm gonna do is move this just from pending to create quote before it's sending anywhere. I wanna make sure everything looks good, that there's no crazy typos. So for instance, this particular uh, quote's for $2,400. If that's supposed to be for $24,000, I probably don't have a job anymore. If that's supposed to be for $245, I'm probably never hearing from that customer again. So I always like to just look at it before that's going anywhere. I feel like the Avengers could afford $24,000. You never know. This is Joe Schmo's <laughs> They're saving secret the world. identity. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you, you just blew his cover, but it's okay. We'll, we'll get that changed for him here. <laughs> so what I've done, just going from pending to create quote, and I've let the system know that when those conditions and triggers have been met, that I want that PDF quote to automatically generate. So that's that PDF generation that we had mentioned in some of our previous uh, uh, webinars around Podio. So when I pull up, this is actually an old Podio pricing sheet. This can look however you want it to look. It's your template to do with what you like. You can see I have that current dates pulled through, that client name, company name, and any of those numerical fields are in the area that I needed them to go. So then with, Podio, if I wanted that to just live here, I can. 
you do have the ability to have that automatically send as an attachment in an email if it's just something that needs to be viewed or approved um, if you were looking at something like a, a bundle with Podio and ShareFile Premium, that includes right signature. So those proposals can even be sent out for automatic electronic signature. And once that document is signed, that can immediately come back into your platform. So again, you have that one system of record where you're really able to automate a lot of that you know, first contact to closing of the deal within this one platform, but you still have all that great reporting and that sort of free flowing process. Again, this is just a demo that I've set up. Your process may be different, but again, one of the best things about Podio is that customization. So being able to really have your CRM, again, move and grow with you so that you can change your processes or your workflows as you see fit. So what we talked about so far is really Podio on its own. Everything that we discussed with the workflows is all built in with Podio Premium. But because it is that customizable tool and because it is an open source platform, we've seen a lot of wonderful things be created, especially by our Podio partner community. Um, and the one that really stands out is uh, something called Smartphone, which is created by Jordan Fleming, our very special guest here. Um, we really wanted to bring him on so he could highlight, you know, Smartphone and Podio and all that Podio can be elevated to be with some of those additional add-ons. So with that, we're going to pass that on to Jordan. Yeah. So. Um, one of the things, you know, I, I wanted to sort of dive in, uh, you know, Mac did a great job of showing the sort of, uh, some of the key processes that you may do or the, or the business uses that you may need to address. But, you know, if you take the, the concept of a CRM and you kind of pull it back down even, even further to the basics of what it means to a business, there are a number of parts of what most businesses use CRM for that Podio really knocks out of the park. And it knocks out of the park because of the unique way that Podio is structured. Um, and I think that there are, you know, what I want to do today is touch a few of them uh, and kind of explain why uh, it worked so well inside of Podio. So uh, you can see my screen here, you can see my Podio setup. Now this is a very, very basic CRM kind of structure that we have, but there are two really critical elements that you can see on the screen. One is uh, emails and one is communication. Because at the end of the day, when we're talking about Podio as a CRM, we're talking about how a CRM works within someone's business. Um, a lot of what people use a CRM for is activity tracking, right? Yes, of course, there are uh, the, there are the processes around, for instance, uh, closing a sale or sending a, a contract for signature via via right signature, etc. But before any of that even happens, you have a lot of data, a lot of leads, a lot of customers, and the chances are you want to see the big picture. And Podio gives a few kind of uh, structural elements that gives makes that a much easier thing to do. Um, so number one is communications. Now, if you are running a sales team, if you're running a, a customer support team, uh, where you are addressing, uh, you know, customer needs, either way, one of your core things you're going to want to deal with is communication, both email usually and phone system. Now, Mac mentioned earlier that, uh, of course, I'm the CEO of a company called smartphone. Uh, now we built smartphone uh, five years ago specifically to integrate into Podio, uh, and that was uh, that was what we you know that was the main driver of why we created it because there was no tool that gave that CRM experience of doing it. Now, when you do start to integrate those things into your system, you can start to understand the power of how a CRM. Uh, in specific, you know, in, in general can work for your business and how Podio can give you some extra little bits that make it even better. So if I, if I look here just at the, the basic workspace and I, I'll dive into my contacts app here, again, this is a, a pretty basic uh, a demo version that we've done uh, years ago um, that I, and you can see, you know, the, the core basics, obviously that's an old Podio shirt um, uh, that I got in California with podio back in the day um, great headshot though jordan great headshot yeah, right? that, that's a special that's a special bit uh, but there's a couple things in here that i want to touch on um that are uh particularly interesting number one you know one of the things that you wanted of a very good crm is the ability to see the bird's eye view you want to be able to see at a top level what is happening with a customer with a company uh with a deal 
with a project, if you're running a project, you want to make sure you've got that total visibility. And Podio, because um, of the relationship field, which was what Mac showed you earlier, because of that, if I scroll down, you know, you will see so many inbound relationships. That means there are pit bits of my system that are connecting to this contact. And that means that I'm seeing the communications, I'm seeing the contracts, I'm seeing tasks related to them, I'm seeing offers or projects. But, but because I'm able to link all my Podio apps together, because I'm able to create these functionality bits inside the apps and link them, it means that I'm able to see that full relationship context in a way that's much more powerful than a kind of, you know, making a note or, or, or writing it down in a field because I'm the full spread of all the activities that I've ha had happen. Now, when you start to integrate tools like, for instance, smartphone, and you're looking at something uh, like communication, you want these things to be automatic. You want them to be seamless because you want to make sure that your entire team is able to track their activities without any friction, right? You do not want there to be a lot of friction. I can tell you right now, if you're running a sales team and you ask salespeople for the most part to log activity, that is a game you are going to fail at because salespeople never log activity. <laughs> that's that my bias is coming through, but that's the honest truth. And so what you want to make sure is in your system is you're making it something that is automatic and easy to do. I'll give you the example right now, uh, just because we're here with smartphone of logging a call. So here I am on my, you know, William Smart is my, my customer or is, is my lead. And I want to go ahead and call them now because we have installed smartphone and we've integrated the two, which takes about uh, three minutes and is about four clicks. Um, it means that I can be sitting on this record and I can go ahead and I can give Bill a call. Now you see there on the top right hand corner, right dropped inside of Podio. I am now calling and I'm getting a call. Uh, Bill is call we're calling Bill right now. Now I'm not going to actually answer that because that would be a very annoying thing to do on a call. But um, you can see here that while I'm on this call, when I finish this call, I have the ability to take notes around what the call actions or discussion points we had. I have the ability to do uh, the kind of call, what we call call dispositions. These are, um, you know, uh, automation enabled category fields that I'll show you in a second, which means that you can develop automations on the back of a phone call. And once I click that, the calls, you can see here, the calls immediately logged. The call's been logged against this record. There it is right there. Um, we've, we've, we've developed the calculation field to show that. But the point is my salesperson has been on a contacts app. They've simply clicked the phone number. It started the call. They've made the call. They've taken notes on the call and they've said the outcome with the category field on a call. And because, uh, we, you know, we're in Podio and we're working with a system of apps that fourth app that I showed you on the workspace, this is the app that smartphone installs. And if I look at the call log, if I just open up all call logs here, right at the top, these are the calls that this is the call I just made to William. And you can see it links automatically through a relationship field to William's contact record. It puts all the information that I want on the call. It's an outbound call. It was answered. It was the duration, which of my agents, my Podio users actually did the call the notes of the call and the call recording. Now, that's a very simple uh, kind of example of, you know, one really critical element of a good CRM, which is to make sure that every bit of communication I have with my customers, my prospects, whatever they are, is logged. I didn't have to do anything. I simply clicked the phone number, it opened up, it made the call, I finished the call, I can move on with my day, but inside of Podio, I have all the information I need. And of course, because we can use the power of Podio um, to do some automation on the back end of things, and Podio, one of the most important parts of is the Podio workflow automation where you can customize pretty much anything, we're able to automatically reach across our system and link to certain bits of fields so we can automatically link a project or anything like that. Those are, that's a really key part. And when I'm on this app, before I bring Mac back in for a little discussion on the CRM, 
while I'm on this app, I wanted to show one more really critical part of a, of a CRM element that Podio absolutely nails. And this app's a good example. So here we have an app with uh, 1,272 items in it, right? Um, I, in my own personal Podio system, I, I do all of my email inside of Podio, and I'll show you that in a second, but I've got something like 80,000 email chains in that app. But through the, you know, through the beauty of Podio views and data filtering, I can create the very specific type of information that I want to see on any given minute. Showing me 1,272 items really is, doesn't really do much for me. It doesn't give me information, but you can see here on the left, we've got some views that we've set up because we've been able to filter the data so easily. We can show this week's outbound calls, this week's SMS, we can this week's inbound calls we can set up the type of information that we as managers want to see or we as salespeople or customer relationships advisors want to see and you can do it both at the team level i.e you know i as the manager decide that my team needs to see this data but also i can create my own views if i want to so that me as jordan i may have some very specific things i care about that I want to make sure the data is there and I don't have to clutter up everybody else's view for it. And that's one of the parts of Podio in general, not just as a CRM, but you know, the fact that you have such a capability as you see here to filter down your data set to show you exactly what you want to see is hugely, hugely important. And that works both for the communication side of things. So I could easily say, well, show me all the ones where, you know, the contact is that William Smart guy, right? I wanna, I wanna check on all the calls or texts I've made. And I put that filter in and there, my data set shrinks down to what I want. That's a really powerful part of Podio as a CRM because it also applies to any other type of functionality that you may have within your system, whether you're running projects, invoices, um, tasks, because you can use that power of, of, of items being and apps being related to each other, you can filter down very, very, very easily. Um, one final thing I just wanted to show before I, I, I go up over to um, Mac is a really good example of, and I'll just go here to the related property. So this is in this system, in this example system, this is a, actually a real estate system where we've got uh, properties under contract or that we're trying to put under contract, we're trying to buy, and we've got sellers. So William is the seller of this, uh, of this property, of this demo property. And one of the things that I love about it um, is that if I come down here to the communication element, you see here I've got the communication history embedded on to, to this actual lead itself. So yes, it's embedded at the contact, but the contacts part of a company, the contacts also a seller for a property, I can embed the same data in each. I can reference it all to make sure that I see it where I need to. And I can also build some really small little automations that take you, uh, you know, 40 seconds inside of the Podio workflow automation tool. But here's one right here where when we do any sort of communication, whether it is email, text, call, um, we update this record here on was the last communication inbound or outbound and when was it? And the visibility, just something so small that you do on something like uh, an app, a properties app here, that little automation can give you an enormous amount of visibility around, you know, for your salespeople working a lead. And that type of automation, because Podio has the amazing workflow automation tool connected to it, that that little automation takes you 40 seconds to set up and it can pay off dividends. Mac, do you want to come in at this point and we can have a little chat? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things, and you kind of answered one of the questions I wanted to point out for everyone on the call, but um, you're mentioning those filters and especially with the views being really, really powerful. Would you mind going back to that app view and we can kind of walk through how you can look at when a call was created and be able to report like on a weekly basis so managers can get an idea of activity through you know specific week sets across a quarter yeah absolutely uh, i mean so there, there's a couple things around uh this kind of uh reporting and what we find 
is that uh, managers tend to want to look at call count, potentially duration, but also what type of um, potentially what type of outcome that happened on the call, which is where those call dispositions happen. If you, if you, if you, if I open up one of these records, you can see these are the statuses that I referenced in that call that I chose one of them. They're simply category fields inside of Podio, which means that I can filter, I can uh, and automate based off these being updated. And so the ability for you to say, okay, I want a very simple report that says, show me all the calls, well, let's just say created on the last seven days. And that's immediately going to shrink my data set from 1272 to 51. And now I want the only the ones where the type is, let's say incoming call or incoming text. And that shrunk it down quite a bit to three. I can then create a report and which I can embed on my workspace home in this app or on my home screen where I can say, all right, I want to see the, to let's just say the count of them, but I want to see it based on the agent uh, or based on the contact, depending on which, what's going to show me some information over here. Um, and doing that, allows me to let's just go call there we go doing that allows me to um filter down the data set and very quickly create a report and i'll just save it to the workspace home and there we go that took me what 30 seconds and now whenever i load up this workspace which i'll have to re uh, i now have that test report sitting there so that as a manager, I can sit here and I can see the core things that matter to me and the core bits of data immediately. Yep, I think it's a great point. Also for any managers on the call, if we're looking at sort of reward based off of performance, you have that up-to-date report. So as new things are being logged, you can almost create that sort of healthy competition within your salespeople of making sure people know that, yes, everyone is working hard, but if you're trying to get to that next level, that this is sort of the, the standard metric that you'd be wanting to meet. So I think that's a great thing to point out. Um, one of the things you had mentioned earlier is about a lot of their email that you were managing within Podio, which um, again, is it through a third party? This is not necessarily native, but I was wondering if you could go a little bit more into that because that is something that we get asked on quite a bit. Yeah, so um, email integration for years was quite of a sticky subject in many ways as was as was phone integration and that's why we built smartphone uh but one of the things that you can do now with the third party uh we use a system called globy uh globy mail um and uh what you can do is you can set it up so that your email w inbox essentially works like a thread now to do that you know i, I probably um uh, I may even uh, pop over to my own inbox in Podio just to show you because it's, it's a little more co co you know comprehensive than this. But essentially what happens is um, it's, it's probably a couple hours work to set up. Um, but once you do it, basically every user can have their own emails app or you can have everybody's emails going into one app like this one here, a centralized one. You can also build it so that um, you can sync them from a personal inbox up to a, a, a master one, and you can choose to sync them. Um, but essentially every new email starts as an item. And then inside of the emails, you actually have um, inside of the items, the emails become part of a comment. Um, so if you've got a, we, we would consider it to be a thread. Each email item is a thread. My entire inbox is based in Podio. I do not do my email anywhere else. Gmail's in the background acting as the mail server, and I have that as a backup in case I need it, but every single thing goes in uh, to my Podio system just like this. This would be uh, a series of seven unread emails. And most importantly, I can create my email app so that I can link to any other part of my Podio system which means that instead of doing these folders, you know, you see people constantly with Microsoft Outlook and they've got folders, they've got 4,000 folders and they're constantly dragging email to folders. Um, 
that's not really very effective or very efficient because all you're doing is you're dragging something somewhere and then hoping you know what it's about. But because you can relate any one of these items, and if I just open one up and I can show you the app, um, because I can go ahead and, and do related items, I can actually make sure that every email is related to everything. I can make sure it's related to the contact, to the company, to a project, to an invoice, whatever it is, I can do that. And that's something that means that takes your emails from being a sort of passive record historically to being a really integrated part of your kind of activity tracking. Yep. And I think that's also a really good point to point out. A lot of times we'll get feedback of one of the reasons people are even looking to move to more of a CRM environment is if someone's managing most of this in their email inboxes and let's say they're out for the day or something unexpected has come up that basically just goes stagnant. So here, you know, if someone's on vacation and you have a pressing issue that's coming through, you're able to then delegate that to the next person in line as opposed to letting that communication fail. Absolutely, and and not just that, I would also say that one of the, one of the challenges as you start to scale a team up is uh, does the left hand know what the right hand's doing, right? And yep, if you've I got a lot of people, too, yeah. right? If you've got a lot of people in your organization potentially touching customer relationships, you want to know that Jim emailed, uh, you know, Sandra, but, oh, wait, now so did Toby. And you want to make sure you, you track all that. So by having your email and your phone uh, system integrated into your Podio CRM, you're able to see that full communication history and make sure that if, you know, you're about to go into a, a call with someone to check up on a quarterly basis, you can see that history. Oh man, he was really angry a, a week ago. I'd better go in knowing that so that I don't, you know, turn up to a meeting and say, hey, how's everything going? And he goes, well, terrible. You know, I, should <laughs> I think it's that. also great too to think of in the sense of on the lead side of things where you don't want, you know, six sales people calling the same lead where they're now completely turned off from your company. So being able to see that log and see that previous communication can make sure that we're going around getting this new business in, in a respectful manner. Absolutely, absolutely. Cool, so I think this has been absolutely wonderful. I know a lot of people have been very curious about some of the things outside of just Podio that can be done, and this is really helpful. How can people find you? So if it's definitely when we wanna make sure that we're integrating all these aspects, how can someone find smartphone? Well, uh, smartphone, very simple, smrtphone.io. Um, and uh, ultimately, uh, you know, there's there's some big things coming up in the next couple of weeks uh, that are that are going to make it even easier. But you can start a free trial immediately. Uh, it takes about three minutes to connect your Podio system smartphone. You get seven dollars of credit to test it out, buy a number, and try it out. Uh, there's no obligation to continue, although most people do. And uh, you know, it is a fully featured phone system for Podio, so. You know, if you're using Podio CRM, I can't tell you how important it is to connect your systems to it. Yep, that's great. And again, as you had mentioned, we do have some exciting news coming up in the future around that. So just keep posted. We'll make sure that we get some emails going through. Um, we do have some specific questions around, you know, Podio Plus smartphone, if you wouldn't mind, if I can kind of read some of those off from the forum to you. Is that all right? Oh, sorry, I said please. Yeah. <laughs> salute. I think she was reading. <laughs> yeah, so we were doing that. Uh, okay, cool. So uh, one of the questions coming through, um, obviously, is Global Mail an extra cost? Yeah, so Global Mail is outside of the Podio uh, package, as is smartphone. These are add-ons, but they're built specifically to be used with Podio. And uh, Jordan, correct me if I'm wrong, in order for smartphone to you do need Podio Premium, correct? Because I know we have a couple tiers, and sometimes that can uh, cause some confusion. Correct. One thing uh, to address maybe, Meg, is that we do have email integration on Podio Premium included as well. So you do not need to pay extra for email integration. We have that as a part of the workflow automation capabilities. Globe Mail is for customers that needs more sophisticated email tracking and email capabilities, but there is an email integration included in, in Podio plans as well. Yep, that's a great point. So as I was uh, kind of showing that one workflow process earlier, where we were mentioning about creating an invoice or a quote or a proposal or a contract, and I mentioned that can be sent out via email, that's actually native to Podio. So that's a great thing to differentiate. Thanks, Sarah. Okay. 
kind of going through some of the questions here. Uh, Jordan, we're getting a question. Does smartphone record all calls for playback? And if a call is made or coming into a cell phone, would that be able to be recorded or would it have to be a call that's coming through Podio specifically? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so the second one is very simple. We actually have our own iOS and Android apps, um, which means that wherever you are on the go, uh, your full Podio CRM contact list comes with you inside smartphones apps. It means that if someone calls you, you see who it is. Uh, it's immediately, you can answer it on your app. Uh, you, it's immediately recorded if you chose to record it. You can do the same notes, everything, and everything is completely in Podio, uh, you know, uh, without any delay at all. So um, it's not really a case of using your cell phone as a number, it's a case of using your cell phone as an app. Um, and then what was the other question? I'm sorry, the first bit. Um, I believe it was the first part of that was, um, yeah. I missed it because I was getting to the next question. <laughs> um, so the recording for the playback. Oh, recorded. Yeah. Recording automatically, yeah. So you have the choice to record, um, to choose to turn the recording on or not, and obviously you would need to check with your local uh, federal, state, and municipal laws around recording people and whether you need consent. Okay, great. Um, we have a question a little bit more around Podio specifically, so I'll take that about just how electronic signature feature works within Podio. So we do have third-party integrations with several tools, again, with Right Signature, which is a part of that share file premium platform being within our same business unit, that is a much stronger integration. But in, in essence, you're able to trigger a workflow where either a PDF that you're creating within Podio can send through that signature tool, receive that signature, and then the signature itself can automatically kick off the next step of your process within Podio, or you have the ability to use what we call write signature templates. So you can have a set template in write signature, be able to use those merge fields, so still be able to have the information from Podio pull into the spe specific areas of that template, and then the similar concept can occur that once that gets signed, that can kick off the next step of your workflow. So that was the one specifically around e-signature in Podio in general. And I believe there is one about asking, I think this is a good one for people who are not necessarily having the time to be able to set up some of these workflows. You know, what sort of resources do they have? We do have a wonderful partner network. Again, that's actually how we originally know Jordan, <laughs> who we are very appreciative of. Um, that we can, you know, you can submit a request, we can get you assigned to a partner based off of what your needs are. Um, they normally go at like a package rate or an hourly rate, but they can let you know what sort of scope that would be to be able to get that either set up or supported for you. Oh, with that being said as well, Podio does have an incredible, incredible support team. I know we have some of them on here right now answering questions. Um, two different levels of focus, some on some of Podio Basics, some on the more advanced workflows. That is ticketing support, but it's honestly one of the best support teams I personally have ever worked with. They've done a wonderful job of making sure customers feel supported and have done a wonderful job, especially as of late, on our help page of getting a lot of these articles, videos, and screenshots updated to just get you guys the most information possible. Yeah, we've got another smartphone question, uh, Jordan. Um, does smartphone technical support support physical voice over IP or VoIP handset headsets, or does it recommend physical VoIP headsets if people want to have an old school device separate from their cell or computer? <laughs> I love it. Uh, old school device. Um, technically, yes, we support uh, what we would call IP phones, phones, you know, physical handsets that sit on the desk that you plug your your cable and Ethernet cable into and you get do it via IP address and all that. We technically do support that, but the honest truth is we hands down recommend just using headsets plugged into your computer um, because ultimately, you know, one of the powerful things, um, in fact, if I can show you, you see my, still see my screen? Yep, we still got you up. So uh, this is actually inside a smartphone here. Now, if I bring down and I search for William, um, for a moment, right? So there's William. One of the powerful things that I can do while I'm on this call, uh, I'll just quickly go on a call, um, but I have the ability to view contact in Podio. Boom, right? Takes me straight there. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that call and I'll just do that. But that that's one of the reasons why we recommend people do headsets because when you're do, using a headset, you can use the power of the, the, the web application um, integration as opposed to if you've got a handset, you're much more limited. 
Okay, that definitely makes sense, I would think. But yeah. <laughs> um, and then one last question we wanted to touch on is asking if there was any sort of specialist in Podio or support in Spanish. We actually have members of our support team that do speak Spanish as well as partners that are certified to speak Spanish. So absolutely don't hesitate to submit a request for a partner, um, put any sort of criteria or you know, specific needs that you may have and we'll make sure that if we do have that contact that we can get you introduced. Okay, cool. Jordan, is there anything else you wanted to just touch on to wrap us out today? Uh, yeah, I, I, the only thing I would say is, you know, if, particularly if you just, if you're on this and you're just getting started in Podio, you know, one of the things that I would really, you know, encourage you to do is to um, think of Podio as a journey with your business. So uh, in the sense of, you know, one of the great parts of Podio is the fact that you can very easily uh, build out functionality, build out apps and connect them together. So if you don't have to think of every part of your business right away and think I've got to map out everything and build everything and build this monstrosity, you can get started very easily building a set of apps to, to solve a specific business problem and then you can expand it and you can always connect things together. So you're never in a case where you are, uh, you know, not able to work with what you've built before. You can always continue to have an additive process to that. And that's something I really emphasize when, you know, back in the day before I was founded smartphone um, with my business partners, I built Podio systems for 10 years and uh, you know, all over the world and uh, across every other, uh, every business sector you can imagine and building, starting small and growing is what Podio can do for you in a way that no other system in the world I've ever seen. So don't think you have to eat the whole elephant, so to speak, take it <laughs> bite by bite.